Survival!
Yoshi. Rob.
There we go. Are we good now? Super loud though. Yeah, hold on. So we just need the classic unplug and plug? I think I plugged him in the wrong one. Okay. You guys are good. Awesome. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we're using all three. This is just the stream setup TV. Yeah. So two of them. So we apologize. Set up, go ahead and hit him. We apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, what we missed there was, uh... Huh? We're good. Okay. Or it might be a bit loud, we'll find out later. Yeah. So, Flyers react ended up taking that match 2-0. Uh, Kazakh Falcon almost having a comeback there. Rage mode in a game like this. Yeah, he used it 130%, I noticed he was uh, 137. And he ended up bringing like 70% on Shane, while well, Shane only racked up like 20. <laughs> yeah, but he did get the spike afterwards, and yeah, that's all that matters. Match, it? It, headbutt. it feels so bad, because you see it coming from six years away. Yeah, but there's not much you, you can boxed. do when you're trying to recover. Yeah, it's, it's just true. like, you can air dodge up, but then... Professor! Right here. 
Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take up my matches right. for uh, Melee. I'm Good gonna luck. leave this here with you for a few. I'll try my best here. <laughs> I believe that you can do it on your own. We'll find out. I'll talk All to right. myself. Be right back. <laughs> Alright, so right now I believe we have uh, the Professor, who to my knowledge is completely new. I do not remember the Professor off the top of my head. And we have 30 Plus, who is named 30 Plus uh, ever so iconically because he's old, according to Facebook. <laughs> what you said, sir, I'm not going to make anything up. The uh, very eloquent name of Teabag. Um, I can't coach you, but you play as Rob and Mario, and you've been dabbling in Lucina. <laughs> Mario. Ganondorf. Yes. That, was, that freaking name! Yo, you have a match coming up. On Wii U. So right now, uh, I have Flyer3F okay. joining me on the mic over here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we have two Smash... Oh, I guess you two got flyer right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, whatever. I mean, we're. I mean, we want our voices to come over louder than the game yeah. audio. So. All right. So right now we got a battlefield, not Smashville. Ah, every match that starts on a not Smashville stage is truly a joyous one. It is. Smashville should just be renamed Fourville. It's, it's Smash Fourville. I think it should just be called Battlefield. That's, that is the new Battlefield, basically. Renamed Battlefield. Ah. All right. So Ganondorf with uh, flame chokes at the down tilt. The Wario Bite, ah, it's a command grab that's just so nice because you can use it in the air and just come down on people. Yeah. I was actually like, that's one of the things we didn't test. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Gunny about. We didn't make sure that we test uh, what happened with Wario Bite. Yeah. Well, we've already checked QD, that's what matters for today. So. Yeah. Oh, the up smash, just barely missing. The <laughs> Bite taking the hit. I know, um, oh, oh that's painful. Ganondorf, very heavy hitter. Mario might have some trouble in this matchup because his limbs are uh, short. Very squat man. It actually might be troublesome for him to get in on Ganondorf, who, while slow, has longer limbs. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think that Wario has, though, is mobility, so he's got that going for him. Um, Wario can move very fast. Ganondorf has to commit to every option he throws out. Wario has the bike, which is beautiful in and of itself. Yeah. He just makes somebody hate you with that bike. Yeah. If they don't know how to punish it right. Ooh, the bike explodes, but he still ends up taking the hit in that trade. Yeah, I have to say, every time Ganondorf does a smash attack, or, you know, an up tilt, I think everybody just kind of flinches a bit. When he does an up tilt, it's humiliating. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the grab in the back throw. The Olympic form back throw. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, the bite. He went for oh. it. Got stage spikes. Yeah, yeah, one that thing... Was a, that was a painful match. Ganondorf was so hard. One thing, uh... Ah, I forget what I was going to say. He'll come back eventually. Yeah, hopefully. So, right now he's still explaining the stage manning process to, uh... The professor who decided to name himself T-Bag in here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm losing my mind, but Patrick is now explaining stage bands, yeah. Yeah. I know, what is, uh, what's your favorite stage to ban, Flyer 3 yeah? My favorite stage? Yeah, what do you, the band, what do you absolutely oh, hate playing on? Band. I know, personally, for me, it's character dependent. So it changes it, depending on the character. It is, it is very character dependent. Mm -hmm. I play Kirby and Yoshi, mm -hmm. I like Yoshi with platforms, I like Kirby without, so. Mm -hmm. I know, um, whenever I'm playing as Robin, I hate Duck Hunt. Like, Duck Hunt is my least favorite stage. Because it has, Ooh, I love that shit. It Kirby. has all the disadvantages of Final Destination and none of the benefits of actually having platforms. 
Oof. Except for everyone else. I guess I could stand on the tree on the right inside me and have it whip. That's a thing. It is a thing. The 30 plus looking around the character select screen. He has the right to change character. I have to say, I think probably my least favorite stage to play on is Castle Siege. Castle Siege is so fun! But it's the middle part that I hate so much. The walk off? The walk off. I love like, the statues it's there. Just, it's too big and it had the planted platform. The statues, I'm not a fan. the statues are actually really neat because it allows for punishes you couldn't normally get because they buffer the attack. But they also so, deflect or uh, just destroy projectiles. Not Thoron. Thoron goes through <laughs> everything. That's what it's about. Excuse me. Lasers go through statues. Lightning laser. Get it straight. Oh, lasers <laughs> do. I'm pretty sure Robs do. Robs probably do, yeah. Alright, so right now we're going into the second match. Did you see the stage they picked? They're picking Duck Hunt. Oh. Like, uh, going for a retro going. feel here. Poor Ganondorf doesn't belong in the stage. Yeah, I think... Uh, oh, the duck just eats the top for him. I think oh. 30 Plus is actually really liking the... Uh, or really wants the stage. Because he wants uh, a way to be able to just, like, uh, lame out Ganondorf. Yeah. And it's very possible, I feel like, on uh, that right side especially, because you can throw out that top and then hide up that platform. But Ganondorf... Up tilt's are very strong. Yeah, I remember that last match. I was actually very shocked at the at the uh, at the projectile potential that uh, Rob had, but I just never paid much attention. To it. But he just kind of juggled me for my first stock, and I was like, "What is happening? What happened?" He wants to... It's that. It's it's that. You have to report on that. You you have to yeah. No problem. All right. So what did I miss? Rob down for one stock here. This Ganondorf is doing work. He's making Ganondorf move in ways you normally don't see in Smash Four. The laser snipe, Ooh. but then thunder stomped. That's painful. Yeah, as I was saying before, Rob like has a lot going for him that I never thought he did. Ooh, I like the transitions. I think the transition was a previous thing we used to have actually. Really? I never saw it. You wanna scoot over and join me in the camera? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, you see him no, a lot more into this. We just had Firefox go down. I can go ahead and pull back it back no, up. Let me. It's going to take a bit. Ooh, uh, I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> going to pull it back here. But yeah, um, Ganondorf, I've actually never seen a Ganondorf in tournament yet. So that was really interesting. I, I saw like. him uh, one time when I was playing like a potato. I, uh, Ganondorf actually like destroyed me as Yoshi. Really? Yeah. Wow. Do you remember that? No. You don't remember that? No. Yeah. Which tournament was that? It was a while back. It was still at Smash Town. Or Smash uh, Saturday, Saturday Scuffles. And uh, I was playing on the couch. And I was just playing like a potato. And Gandorf was like, you're going to do this. So I'm just going was to Was he Joseph it. Joestar? I don't Your know, next line mind. is going to be. Your next move is going to be. You're going yeah, to jump probably. in Meteor Smash me. Maybe. I'm going to jump in Meteor Smash you. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Speaking of anime, I watched the lot next episode of Kill a Kill. It's pretty good. It's it, pretty good. You probably caught that's it to where I am. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm caught that's up. The, uh, that's, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Great show. Love Kill a Kill. We're not sponsored. Not sponsored. But <laughs> I, personally, Super Davio as a person, would recommend Kill a Kill. <laughs> Yo. We have uh, Timco going on stream right now. Timco against the Professor. You still got you up against, uh... Yeah, I have to play against Mickey 64 later. He popped me over when we were testing stuff. He was asking me to play. Which, I'll probably end up playing that match here in the near future. Probably after this one, because we're already moving on to second round, so... Yeah. And Big K and Gunning Smith are playing like right now. We actually have fewer people than last time, don't we? We have 14 people. Last week we had 18. We're a bit under. The other two, um, Smash uh, Melee and Project M, currently have 16 players. Oh, wow. We're a bit under with 14 right now. And next week is going to be, like... Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> spring break starts next week, so we'll have Saturday scuffles next week. To my knowledge, I won't be here. Uh, maybe I'll be here. I might go out the Friday night beforehand, so I might not be in the best shape. But Patrick, I believe, will still be here, and he will hopefully be streaming. 
Don't take my word for it. I'm not the one in charge of that. That's up to Pat. Uh, let's go ahead and get back up to gameplay here. Let's also fix our uh, stage. Hey, you put spell GGG. Alright, so it looks like Timmy's a bit in the Project M mindset right now, and we're trying to get used to it. While, uh, Teabag has the advantage here that he just played. So he's already. Oh! Ooh, that was pain. Ooh, was that a just stomp at low percent? I was there now, I apologize. He stomped him as he recovered. Like, uh, as Iggy upbeat. Iggy, for um, Bowser Jr. and the Koopalinks, which I'm happy to the Koopalinks bad, I don't like the Koopalinks, but <laughs> Bowser Jr. and the Koopalinks, their up B is very predictable and it's horrible because if you get um, bopped while you're actually out of the up B, it does not get you your up B back. Like every other character in the game, you will not get it back. Unless you've initiated another action, like when he does that hammer, if you hit him after they throw the hammer, they get it back. But if you hit them while they're in that stent, they don't get it back. That's true. Oh man, that was painful. Wow. That? Especially with Ganondorf, nobody knows how to stop the train. Yeah. Looks like we got a character matchup going on. We have uh, the counter pick. Looks like Tim Co going with Duck Hunt. I apologize for not having Bowser Jr. up here. I apparently forgot how to type Bowser Jr. Sorry. Everybody makes mistakes. What? No, it's okay. There's no Duck Hunt. God. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I just typed. But it's not popping up. So <laughs> pretend there's a Duck Hunt dog. <laughs> I feel like Timmy likes this matchup a little better. He yeah. just, whoa. Try to get Valve out of her. Oh. oh. Recovery did not happen. Ganondor, oh, Duck Hunt ducks the forward smash. Going for the forward smash. Ganondor recovers high. I don't think Ganondor's lost the stock in the past uh, three rounds of play. Ooh, the read on the landing. That was painful. 2-0. Two stocks first time. Well, I think I'm going to head out here. I need to start playing my match soon to get my side of bracket going up. I'm one of two people who have not played their first round match. Let's go. Give <laughs> me two sets. So I'm going to go ahead and head out and play on another set most likely. I will be leaving you to it. Uh, let's see if we can get somebody else up here possibly. It's to me. Wait, what? Okay. Alright. Looks like we got Beehawks and Darude going on. Ah, welcome. Now we got 30 plus back on the screen. Three, two, one, go! I think we actually have two versions. Now we got, uh, we got Beehawks and Darude going on. Sorry, we don't have the name set up yet. I'll get that. But, um, yeah, uh, Beehawks actually just recently, uh, picked up the game I trained with him a bit. And then he wrecked me when I decided that Kirby and Sonic would be an okay matchup. It was not. Um, 
So he's definitely improved over the re over the past couple of weeks. So. Uh, his Sonic is very good, and he took uh, was it second last week or yeah, third. Your microphone is way down. Yeah, it's way down because okay. I keep moving it like an idiot. All right. Yeah, I feel like he's definitely picking on up on what to do with Sonic. I just feel like he's got to get more experience so he knows what to do in different situations. He's got to play patiently, which is tough to do with Sonic. Not very tough to do. He's trying to go fast. Uh, yeah, Sonic, uh, as I was talking with uh, Cry, who is a big advocate on hating Smash 4, um, Sonic is probably one of the most offensive top tiers. Like, all the rest are very have very defensive options. While Sonic is just like, I'm going to go and, and combo you because of that. Which is interesting. Sorry, I'm uh, playing with microphone level study. Because it's getting a little loud. It looks like Darude's trying to just bait out Sonic and just like... But it's not working because Sonic can just go oh, in with the taunt. Except PK Thunder, it's not a good... It does not appear to be going very much work against Sonic Speed. Yep. I don't know if either player quite knows the matchup. I don't think we have any real nests in the area. Uh, yeah. Darude's uh, the one nest in the area that I've seen. And nests can do a lot. Like, it's actually really fun to watch uh, Nest play just because... He got the I grab out it. of the PK fire there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. He can definitely do that. He can also uh, down throw into fair, into fair, and just go from there. My only complaint about Ness is that his PK fire has to hit in order to turn into fire, unlike Robin. Oh yeah. Uh, who's but, PK, who's, well, PK fire. Yeah. Her, her fire attack doesn't have to uh, hit. But. Yeah. Um, but at that same point, the Ness is just so much faster and uh, is just... Like, you can definitely use it as a quick uh, option to keep your opponent away when they're going into an attack. So they're playing back and forth here. Uh, Sonic does have a slight lead, about 40%. Yeah, I feel like both are getting much more comfortable with the matchup. We don't see as many thunders coming from Ness. Found out that that's not working with me. Hope. We got the up air into Ooh. up the up air, and that's the first game. It's actually pretty close, honestly. That one series there took it. Start the next round, but people are. Ooh, we're standing. The same thing. Huh? Two bands. Yeah, we're staying with the same character. Both uh, people are now very accustomed with the matchup. We'll see how things go from here. Three, Looks like we're going to. The classic match I don't think we see a stage match. What do you think? <laughs> I don't. It, it's the usual starting stage. I mean, <laughs> most people will ban FD uh, or Battlefield. And that just leaves Smash available on a platform. Yeah. I always do like it though when both people want the same stage. So it's, it's very interesting. Usually, I think the more defensive characters usually okay. want to go in. Uh, I want to go in, uh... Nah, I can't think. Yeah, the most defensive players, usually, I see, want to go to FD, while more offensive characters want to go for, uh... Battlefield, and I feel like Sonic's one of the more, uh... One of the, uh... You, uh... Wow, oh, I really can't think. That's alright, take your time. Uh... Yeah. Alright, so we've got the neutral back and forth, but Sonic getting a slight lead here. Uh, he opts to go for the platform and get punished for it. Back. Oh, the taunt. I, I, he's on it every time he's gotten a stock. Yeah, Theos has been... has definitely picked up on, uh, Chris. What do you think? <laughs> a little bit. The influencer? Looks like Theos is much more comfortable in this match now. He's, uh... He seems to be controlling it pretty well. I think the problem is that Ness... 
Uh, you might not recognize what the different spins are, and I admit I have a hard time figuring out which is, you know, forward B, which is neutral B, uh, versus his, you know, neutral air or anything like that. Uh, I'll uses be the honest. spring. Like, I feel like a Ness Sonic matchup is very painful. Well, Sonic has the speed to get in and out, you know, punish a with uh, PK Fire or something like that. And if he can dodge that thunder, he can just walk right in and get whatever he wants. Ooh. Oh. Trade. <laughs> Grab fat trade. Beautiful thing. Ooh. How is Mrs. Yo-Yo in this? Isn't it a disjointed hitbox? Or... His Yo-Yo goes behind him before in front of him. Yeah, it's always done that, I believe. But is the hitbox completely disjointed from him? Can he use it to, uh, to fish for hits? You know, I think it is like Ooh, with punish it. there. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's a bit. Uh, it's not too far away from him, though. So it's like it would be like if he were swinging a sword, in my opinion. But the hitbox is a bit disjointed, though. So it has a different type of uh, knockback from it. I don't know. I'm playing Ness enough. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some other matches up here, and if I can get someone else to commentate, so I can go play my melee match and get a quick loss. In. <laughs> hey, you might do pretty good. Has uh, is Dave? Ah, oh, Dave, we should have saved that match for the. It's all good. I think it was Big K. Yes, it was. Alright, Big Cake, join us on uh, commentators. Yeah, first time on the mic. Good to be here. It's all cool, just. Pretty much just talk to the match. Yeah, yeah. Pretty chill. Uh, I don't know, did you join in on Smash 4? Yes, I did. I got beat up by Gunny. He was King PDD, man. Like, uh, I played him three weeks back, and man, he's really improved, or I've really gotten bad. <laughs> you know, Gunny is actually a really good PC player. Um, he actually, when we first started playing, he actually beat my uh, Kirby. Mm -hmm. I mean, my Kirby wasn't as good back then, but still, mm -hmm. it kind of surprised play, me that Kirby. PDD was, was that good. good. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten better with Kirby, mm -hmm. is the thing. But, um,. It's actually very surprising how good he is with DDD. He likes. He told me he likes the heavier characters, mm -hmm. and I feel like he definitely makes work with DDD. And now that we did, we did a bit of testing, I feel like last time we kind of shorted him because he did a suicide and uh -huh. we didn't count it. Yeah. Now we have a way to uh, find out whether or not the suicide is legit or not, or the person popped out. If they pop out, they the other person takes no damage. Mm -hmm. If it's a suicide kill, the person who got suicided with, takes 5%. Uh, okay. Which is very interesting, and it's a nice way to be able to tell. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just funny seeing um, uh, DDD is such a big character and just be so floaty like Jigglypuff. It just seems so, uh, uh, just different styles. You know, it's almost playing a heavier Jigglypuff, except, you know, without the rest and everything. But it's just, it's yeah. just fun to see the diversity in the characters. Yeah, um... I'm a big Kirby fan. Uh, DDD's always been able to uh, do the floaty thing mm -hmm. for some reason. Nobody exactly knows why. Apparently, he practiced to be <laughs> able to do it. Um, Working out just for the Smash Bros. game. Yeah, he actually did it in uh, the uh, Kirby games as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's he's done it just to get back at Kirby. Yeah. Just, just to be able to counter Kirby. So it's That's actually kind of funny. That is pretty nice to see. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I never even, I, I haven't played uh, since Melee, so I haven't gotten to see him on Brawl and Project M and, mm. and all that. I finally just got to see him now, and yeah, it's, he's a force to reckon with if you know what to do. Yeah, he plays very differently from Brawl, though. Like, when I first played DD in this game, I had no idea what I was doing. I thought he was a bad character. Mm -hmm. Um, But the more I played as him, the more that I started to love uh, his, uh, his Gordos. Yep. They're very good for just like stage guard. Like you can just, you can go to the edge of the stage, pop one upwards, and yeah. it'll just bounce on the edge yeah, of the stage. Yeah. That, that, and you can just go nice. in and just uh, edge guard them so they can't uh, try to fly over you without getting 
flash. Yeah, it's nice the first in stage control he has with just the long shot, the slow, the, the little high shot. It's almost like uh, Yoshi's eggs, except it's nice to got a little bounce to the contact. Yeah, it's definitely a double-edged sword though, because it also bounces yes, uh, yes. away from the other person if they smack it. It's just and, real DG right and, in the head. And yeah, and I've never seen a, an item just fly so far forward from getting hit <laughs> like that. It's like it's so funny because I always play a uh, doc. And just hitting it with that pill and just seeing it fly forward, it just, it just makes me laugh every time. It's just like, ah. It's a good feeling. Yeah, I, I, I just I don't think those vitamins are, or, you know, has that much knockout power. Yeah. That the water does too, the fireball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I have not gotten to try out Mario yet. Yeah, Mario's actually really good. If you like to play as Doc, I'd definitely recommend playing a bit as Mario. And, and I know a lot of people say that since it seems like Doc is, um... I guess everybody does not like him for his recoveries, but I've just always been a hardcore melee dog. Oh, speaking of which, Ooh. looks like we're getting Gunny Smith up in here against uh, Super Davio. Yeah, we'll get to see his DDD in action. Yep. Now, where the hell are the actual things? Uh, I am not sure how to work. There we go. Uh, Now what? Oh, there we go. It looks like Gunny's going up against Super Debut, our... I, w I would say Rainian champion for a while? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's actually won, uh, been the champion of Wii U for, like, every time he's come. He's, uh... One except for one time mm -hmm. where a newcomer beat him, and we haven't seen him since. Ah. Uh. Davio tells me that he wants him to come back so he can try to whip his ass. I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that when the soul gets in that wound, you just really want to set things straight. Yeah, and as the match is going on, Super Davio wants to make sure that he has the range with Shulk, so I think they like this matchup much more than he does with, uh, Little Mac and uh Well no now Shulk usually doesn't Super Davio always go for Little Mac first round? He usually goes for Little Mac first round, but I was just uh hearing from him and he said he does he does not like the uh matchup D D versus Shulk and just for versus uh Little Mac just because D D hits so hard. Yep. He also uh said I guess he wants to uh do a little more shulk because usually he picks uh, Robin. Yep. If not uh, Little Mac or. Yep, and I've seen all the. It's 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 pretty wild how good he can be with so many characters. It's, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, it just seems like there is not one flaw in any of them. He's just overall pretty sound. Yeah, like I play him like I'm his best friend, and I play yeah. him all the time. He whips my ass no matter what character he picks. Yep. Yeah. It makes me cry a little. Because <laughs> he'll just like, he'll be like, oh, let me just pick Wii Fit Trainer. And he just, he beats me. And I'm just like, why? Yeah, there's nothing worse than somebody just putting on random and just, hey, you know, I'll just try whoever I get. And it's just, it's, yeah. Have no chance. To like, definitely, um, I feel like I'm improving. Mm -hmm. But David has, Davio has always been the counter. It's so painful for Chuck. Oh! oh! I don't know if oh. that was just him on the restart, or that ah. was a really bad SD. Ah! Ugh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, the pain, the pain can I'm be felt sorry. right here by the commentators, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. Alright, I'm sorry, but like... I, I need to uh, play a match, I think, either in Project M or... So Alright, right. best of luck, man. Yep. Good to come, Dave. Good to come. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I figure we'll get uh, 30 plus up here next uh, for commentating, but looks like it's all in good spirits. They're all joking about it. Looks like we're danning Final Bastination up in here. Alright. Looks like we have a character switch due to the stage selection. Ooh, Gunny picking up Rob. I think he mentioned this to me earlier that he plays a bit of Rob, but... 
No, we'll see how things go. I personally feel like uh, Robin definitely has the advantage here due to her. Uh, but you know what? I'm not going to speak to her. Because evidently, I don't know the full potential of Robin. David personally tells me that one of the favorite stages to play as Robin is uh, Battlefield due to the fact that you can just uh, set up camp under one platform. Johnny definitely pulling out a lot of Rob that I didn't think he would. Definitely knows how to play it. I bet he's hoping that uh, Super Davio threw out a projectile there. That would be painful if he ends up reflecting the Toleron. Good shield, but just roll into a punish. Ooh, that was a good diagonal laser by Gunny. Oh. Fire combos. Arc fire too strong. Good call on Sixpatio for that fire. I think Gunny's just trying to get stage control, but Davio just got the stage control. You know, I actually should look into Rob's custom effects, because I'd be interested in what he actually saw. That was a good call on the there. Oh. Levin Sword. No pain. The Levin Sword. Take Also, I just noticed Robin Rob. That was a neat match. A Robin Rob match. No, I forgot. I actually forgot to put in Robin. So you're a shock. I'm sorry. It's in now. How many viewers we have? A uh, whopping, I'm pretty sure, everybody who is here. I don't know. We have four, we have four viewers. Yeah, we need to get some more people up in here. Survival. Ooh. I just noticed I'm going up either against Chris and Moto. Some of the top players here. So it looks like right now we're just waiting for our next match to start. But the only matches available right now are Scott Prime Moto or that's Super Dave. Looks like we're going to have a bit of time here. <laughs> like we're gonna start our new bracket. Got Gunny Smith versus. Yo, Super Davio! Yep. Can you join us? Alright, here. 
or just it here? Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> What? I'm sorry! What? They should probably take off player one. <laughs> there they go. I'm sorry, I think that was my fault. I messed with the game pad. <laughs> Alright, so now we have Gunny Smith on the right, who is player one. Alright, we've got King DVD versus Little Mac. That's exciting. I actually just played against Gunny Smith, and I did not want to do this matchup, because I feel like Little Mac is in a bit of a loss here. I don't know. Like, Little Mac can definitely armor through a lot of what he Yeah, but a lot of their sports. <laughs> Get out of here with the Gordo! <laughs> DB seems to be using a very Smash reliant game. Well, if you're gonna go against a little Mac, it sounds like you should play like a little Mac. DDD <laughs> <laughs> just... He's gonna eat little Mac for dinner. Little Mac's just gonna smash his way in. Ooh, the stomp. I'll just swoosh right in. Little Mac, the forward smash is really good, but... You're... So, I hope you can yeah. play it from here, that's why I'm talking quiet. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, oh. The, KO, the aerial KO punch though, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. It does like 20% and like the knockback of an up tilt. Like forward smack. Sounds like it's working. It is working, but Little Mac can't make it back. I feel like maybe Gunny doesn't play against Little Mac, but just trying to figure out how to do Yeah, I think that's the problem, is he doesn't have to get in. Yeah. Aerial Little Mac could. He's got to skate his way out. Oh no. Okay, We're good. good. Come on, stop. Little Mac starting to wait now. Little patient play. Gordo's though. Oh, bounce back. Oh! You seem to be playing tennis now. For those of you oh, familiar with Ocarina Armored Time. through the Gordo. KO punch, that could be big. Oh, KO punch lost. DDD with the jab. Knock it back up. Mac doesn't like to be in the air. <laughs> he went for the punish, but Mac actually does an aerial attack. Yeah. Occasionally it's good. Oh, Ooh, that the was forward a bad smash. So right now it looks like Battlefield and Duck Hunt are the band. <laughs> it looks like we're going to the the old classic. Uh, yeah. I'd rather see FD every day, because at least FD looks pretty. That is true. Personally, I think the uh, best counterpick stage for Mac would be Dillian Plaza. Just because of the stage switch. Some of the stages are so awkward for like, Little Mac trying to get Personally, I would probably get on. Um, yeah, definitely that. Out, 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 it. Not to Little Mac out. 20 seconds. <laughs> little Mac though, using the forward air, which the forward air is a little underrated honestly. It's actually like the piece of old. That was fast. That is over. A complete reversal of the match last half. I think Gunning was just like trying to figure out the match and was 
not used to it, and he's like, oh, I know what to do now. So, <laughs> we saw the results. We saw the results. So, I have a solution to our problem. Oh, I can tell the guy! That's I smart! Know. I like no, that idea. It's That's a pretty good idea. In fact, I can tell it even more, so we're like, both in let me Let me get as high as you are. But, hey. There we go. There hey. we go. There, we go. Good. Turtle neck there, there you better? Better. Better? Okay. <laughs> My phone going off? Yeah, you got to play a little shulk against somebody who's not Chris. Yeah, this is great. I get to play against um, a Ganondorf next match, actually. Yeah, you have a match coming up for mm -hmm. okay. Against Moto, I believe. Right. Are there any other... Fox Cry. Are there any other matches we can get on here? Can you check on the bracket over there real fast? We have a bracket up here. We have a bracket up here. It's okay. Uh, we can get Derude and Mickey out. Which they're already playing. Yeah, I'm still waiting for them. Yeah. I gotta right. face the winner. So right now we are currently in a lull. The only other match we have two matches in bracket. Um, I could go ahead and play. Hmm. I'll go ahead and play. You go ahead and play. Yeah, I'll go ahead and play. Okay, you're gonna get the professor uh, up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. Actually curious. This is supposed to be a triple can, yet yet the uh no commentation. Alright. Looks like we're gonna watch a match between the professor and Super Davio. Money's on Dave. <laughs> I wonder why. Always both always put the money on the home court. Alright. <laughs> So, <sighs> what are you doing? I don't know. I... Bad. Anyway, what I'm doing. Survival. Let's get the name switched over right here. Uh, Dave, going straight to Little Mac like he always does for the first game. Hey, it's a not. It's not a bad. Decision. No, it's not. It's actually a good plan. Try and get the quick stock lead when they go to Smashville. Yeah. Because he'll ban off uh, Battlefield, the other person will ban off Final Death, and then... Yeah, actually, I don't know what the Professor usually goes by. Just put him as a Professor. I mean, if he's the Professor, he's obviously in the lab, so he yeah, has some shit we don't know. This will be an interesting match, because... Ganon versus Mac? Yeah, both players hit hard. Yeah, but Mac has a lot of combos that work on heavies. That, that wouldn't normally work, so I've heavily favored Mac. <laughs> that was the weirdest hitbox I think I've seen all day. That's actually interesting. Like the I didn't know that uh, a lot as uh, Ganondorf that I haven't seen. Like he's definitely knows what he's doing. I haven't actually seen this guy play before. I've seen Dave play, obviously. But I mean, he fought against uh, he fought against uh, Pat and. Uh, Somebody else didn't lose a stock. Really? Yeah, single stock. Oh, well, going pretty good. We got Ganon versus Little Mac right now. Not yet. It's not over. Oh, oh his first match. Yeah, he did. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Is that the that's bad for Mac? That was pretty. It was bad for Mac, but that was pretty. Alright, we got charge smash. Oh! Stomp, throw. Do we get to watch him go back and forth? That's a quick 56. What is this? Staying just outside of range to forward tilt that. That was another beautiful trade. Looks He's like Ganon's three. gonna take this one. Oh. But Mac is really close to full rage right now. So, 
any confirmable combos, and he's got KO Punch. Yeah, it is something that Little Mac doesn't have over Gandorf and Air Girl with recovery. That KO Punch is ready to kill. Ooh. That was it. I was actually expecting it right there. He probably... He got did, scared. He didn't think he was going to hit. So I can see where he's coming from there. He, he threw it. What a wind box. He, he threw did, it out. He threw it out there when he was in his face. actually very scary right now. Both players can just take it. Mac can kill him. Strong Mac. Oh. Mac so fast. That's it. That's it. And a quick game one. Quick game one. Both players just get the fuck out of each other until somebody dies. Now let's go. What I expect from Dave is for him to switch to a much more zone oriented character at this point. Yeah, As fits like his regular playstyle. Hey, he went back to Mac. I think he's gonna. Pick, I think he's gonna. He's gonna pick Man Stage first. Stage. He's definitely gonna pick Stage first. Yeah. Because I don't think he would say Mac after that. I think we're gonna see a bit of Robin. Oh. Yeah, I expect Robin too. I would prefer to see Rosalina, but <laughs> I don't think he's gonna pick Rosalina. I know he won't. He actually. Uh... I talked to him before. At first, he said uh, he didn't want to pick Rosie because he's top tier and everybody's picking Rosie. Yeah, we're going Robin. And then he uh, tried to pick Rosie and didn't like the gameplay. So I guess he just doesn't like hitting a bunch of air buttons at him. <laughs> All right, yeah, but here's the switch. That quick up air, and then it doesn't matter. Cannon hits and they're back to even. Yeah. Now this is Dave's regular gameplay, which is it. Insanely patient. Very, very. That that was a missed input somewhere. No one intentionally does up tilt to scan it. Oh, and he got the fair on. He's got a huge lead right now. It looks really bad for Ganon. Yeah, I think uh, the press message is not going to be this sort of matchup where something big control the stage and yet has strong aerial attacks as well go yeah you know I'm almost positive he went to Delfino so he could kill off the top during stage transitions off up there yeah I believe I also believe that aerial is. like this there oh, it is. that was important man. that we'll talk about that minute and ten that there's no way he's going to switch off Robin for that. Does the Professor have any other characters he can switch to? I have no idea. I don't know. Well. So I think we're going to pick a stage, and then if we have a character select, then we will. What stages do you ban out against Ganondorf? Um. He doesn't you know, really think, excel uh, anywhere. I'm not sure, honestly. I think I'd want stages that switch to be made. <laughs> it's a Robin Mirror oh, match. Oh, a Robin Mirror match. Here we go. Robin Mirror. this shit on, on, uh, what is it, uh, for glory? You only see this shit on fucking scuffles. No <laughs> one does this shit. Alrighty, looking to zone out each other with the arc fires. Looks ah uh, the gentleman's fire. Choosing not to pummel because pummel is Robin's worst move. <laughs> and just like that, he's taking the lead again. I feel like David has I could be wrong, more experience than Robin. I feel like he picked Robin because he knew that Ganon could beat her. Yeah, that might be a thing. And going to your secondary is sometimes a good opinion, or a good option, but it can be a very here problem. when someone actually mains the character your secondary might happen to be. I would have stuck with Ganon and tried to make adjustments to that gameplay. The professor doesn't know that. So that's a trick. Oh hey, I forgot to enter. Uh... Yeah, David chewed me out last time for not putting up Pink Robin. Oh, so we have to always put a Pink Robin for him? Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna make it gray. This gray, Rob. Green and gray. 
Oh, he goes for the not gentleman. Did that kill? Almost off the top. No sword for a couple seconds. Robin Robin seems really, really boring. It could be. But there you know, it is. More well, that does it. Uh, no, it's more boring. <laughs> Rosie versus Rosie. Pack versus Pack. That could be. I think Pack versus Pack's probably the most boring. I don't know. Robin's pretty. It's a really dry matchup. They just wait and throw all the fires at each other. And then all of a sudden, one up air and it's over. Yeah. But we got him holding down with the level 4, is it? On the book? Um, I think that's a level 3. Okay, I didn't know if it was 5 levels or 4. Yeah, it's 4. Because there's one that's just the bolt, there's one that's just the shock, there's yeah. one that holds up in place, and then there's the, uh, Thoron. We got Nosferatu plays here. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. He's trying to get salt. I think Ooh. That's the, the oh, that rage mechanic is starting to rack up extra damage here. Oh, that could have been a kill if he had forward smashed that. Oh. It's not over. Robins are being Robin right now. That's true. That was good. That was good. Oh, but then good the guess. Match. The guessing down smash? I don't know, I think that was a read. I don't know. I think he you threw it out guess, because I it's safe. Read. I saw guess. Because he could have done anything else out of there, but... That was I the best... You guessed that down smash. The down smash is a roll punish, dude. Yeah, but... That's what you it, do. It punishes only forward roll. He could have back he rolled or roll, neutral. Behind you too. Yeah, but he could have rolled back. Yes, not that. Yeah. It makes sense, he's just mad. Not mad, it was just a guess. <laughs> it's called like, three. He might do this. Yeah, it's called three. Anyway, I got matches to go play. I'll All be right, back man. here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm still waiting for you. Are you waiting for me in what? Yeah, I'm waiting for you in... Oh yeah, because I gotta play Moto. Well, I gotta... Yeah, and then you gotta play me if you win. Alright, I gotta Make go sure knock to out my last PM game for a while. Alright. Well, yeah, the plan. Yo, careful with the setups. It costs money. <laughs> Survival. Thank 
Go, David. The link to bracket. Do I just link this one, or do I link something else? Which bracket? I smash you. Do I, ju I just link this? Okay. I didn't know if I need to link one that doesn't have, like, uh, allowed changes. That <laughs> matchup though. <laughs> like, how do I rob it? I get robbed. What's going on with Project M? Oh, hey. Okay. Whatever. Yep. Can Currently, we are looking to do nothing. Right now, we're waiting on one match in the first round. It is between Moto, who placed um, third place uh, two weeks ago. You, like, the, or the match two before Two tournaments last. ago. Yeah. And then uh, we're also waiting on Shao Cry, who also goes by Toxic Cry, who he also does. goes by Chris, who also goes by a million other names. Yeah. And he is currently... They're going to play in first round, and that right now is kind of holding us up in bracket. We have one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven people waiting on that match. Yep. So right now I have Moto to the right of me playing melee, and I have Toxicry to the left of me. Sorry, stage right has Toxicry, and stage left yeah. has Moto. So right now, so uh, what do you think of the tournament? I was amazed at the Ganondorf who was coming in and yeah, Ganondorfing that cool. everybody. That was nuts. Yeah. That was actually, uh... <laughs> yeah, it was actually very hype. Because I always like when a new character just pops up and we're like, what? <laughs> what can you do with them? And then they do good. And it's like, what? <laughs> what do I do? God. It was fun for sure. I do know that. Yeah. I know right now, um, we're just, yeah, we're chilling yeah, we're here. Just chilling. So, so bear with us. Um, it'll be a little while before we come up. Yeah, we have one, two... Three, you know four, five, six. I'm going to see seven. if we can get the uh, actual triple cam up in here. Uh, Don't screw it up. I want to say this. Okay. So it overrides it. Um, what we need is... I need to change the size of it. I wouldn't worry about it. I think it might end up screwing up some other stuff. Maybe. Well, then when people are playing. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, it's not going to screw that up. What I want to do is just change the size of it. I also don't want to break his setup, so yeah, if that's I get what too I'm deep, then I'm, I'm backing out. It looks like you might have gone too deep. Yeah, I think I broke it. If his computer crashes <laughs> because sorry. you were trying to get a triple setup, <laughs> that'll be adorable. I'm sure he'll love setting it all back up. I hope it didn't just freeze at this point. I hope it's actually still gone. I'm yeah, sorry! I didn't do anything. Also, he's I playing a match. You're disrupting him. He did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. So it is still running, so we're good. Oh, we got an advertisement we're viewing our Twitch channel. Yeah, it's all good. Chris, you are waiting. So I broke our own uh, preview, so once we get our set up, we can make sure that this works properly. I think you done froze it. I didn't freeze, I didn't freeze it. It's working. It's working. Our like, setup. we'll have to reset it, but I mean, it's working for their audience. Are our audience enjoying the view? I don't think anyone's listening. Nah, nobody is. Well, we see, we're working. Well, we're running on like a 15 second lag or so. Yeah, that's Twitch for you. Yeah. But, but I it it's to improve the better of the community stuff. It's so they can have a Do more enjoyable Twitch plays Pokemon? experience. That was like a 40 second lag. No, I'm just quoting like Twitch. Like that's their logic. It it makes it better because it lags so that they can render it better. I guess you're still getting the content no, at the same it's rate. Not. It's dumb. It doesn't matter. But, it only affects us. Anyone who's watching the stream, which we don't need to watch the stream because we're here. But like when uh people want to interact with their chat, like I'd be like, hey chat, how are you doing? They w I would have to wait 15 seconds to get a reply. You know? No, the chat yes. window. I think I think the chat window is just on time. No. Like. Like the lag between when I say something and the lag between when it when it when the uh, player the player gets I know lags I know yeah. the player lags I yeah. thought the chat was on real time the chat is real time yeah yeah they get the video late yeah. if I were to type hey chat how's it going it'd be different yeah that's what I'm that'd saying. be real time yeah, yeah. Okay. if I want help Shane Dunn broke it. I'll get out of his way so we can fix your mistake. I'm sorry. I was trying to fix the uh, triple cam. It's still working. Like, we're still going. But you know, Did you right-click and click properties on something? Yes. Then you broke it. 